welcome to the Metaverse. Today we are going to further explore Hand of Fate 2. We are on to the next one, Strength. To overthrow the hand, uh, I guess Hand of Osuper. <laughs> but let's see what we have. Strength. Stealing half of an ancient relic from an ogre has left you dying and cursed. Gear up and claim the other half of S8C's charm. <laughs> Ed Odessia's, I guess. Makes more sense. Gravish wounds start with 10 life. Oh, crap. Eating food does not heal. Draconar the Mighty. A high defense will help reduce damage from the ogre's devastating onslaught. And there will be dice. Okay. Well, since there will be dice, it's probably best to have uh, our wander. Even though now we do have... Oh, the strength will unlock the next one. Okay, cool. We'll go with him since there are dice. Okay. Let's see what happens since this one it might be a bit more pain. Here is our evidence of your eagerness to leap into difficulties you cannot face. You must know yourself, own yourself, sharpen your wits and your sword against the challenges ahead. That's quite a bit. The bitter taste of blood is the first indicator that you're still alive. Blind and disoriented, you make out a voice calling to you. Wake up! Wake up! The voice rings in your ears. Are you still with us? A pair of strong hands shake you upright. Your vision steadies and Cold Jordan's somber face swims into view. Ask what happened. Ask where you are. Ask what happened. Cold Jordan gestures you to be quiet. He presses his back against a boulder. He presses his back up against a boulder beside you and grimaces, holding his side. As your head clears, a booming voice echoes out from the deep in the foggy marsh. Oh, where have you crawled, ghasted mice? Let your insides be guts and bones be crunched. You peer around the rock and from the midst steeps an ogre, three times as tall as a man and with a lumpen, vicious face. His one good eye darts about wildly as he surveys the area, hunting for something. The ogre grunts and scoops up a broken, shining trinket from the ground, splashed red with blood. Ruined with your dirty blood, wretched cut purses. Cut purses? What the heck is that? Riven in two, his great hideous face turns red. And thou listen here, I will find the twin, then I will eat thine eyes. The ogre lifts his clubs and smashes a tree trunk in anger. The tree creaks and crashes to the ground as Draknar, the ogre, turns and disappears back into the mist. Kolbjorn grimaces as he holds his side, attempting to hide the severity of his injuries. Here, you are injured. Eat. He throws you a medical herb, a medicinal herb bun. Weak to your bones, you gratefully take a bite. Oh, gave me food, but that does not heal me. And the bread turns to ash in your mouth. Well, that sucks. With a sinking realization, you pull the other half of the ogre's trinket from your pack. Sure enough, you feel a wrongness emanating from it. While holding only half, food does not restore you. This card cannot be discarded, of course. A stab of hunger hits your stomach. There is only one thing to do for it. You must steal back the other half from the ogre that almost killed you. The closest town is Drapner, Kolbjorn whispers hoarsely. We cannot hope to defeat an ogre now. Definitely not. Summoning your remaining strength, you lift yourself to your feet and stagger to town. Oh boy. Um. I admire that you have other skills beyond violence. Yet, if there's one thing that the usurper has taught me, it's that violence can sometimes answer questions that otherwise have none. The sun's warm rays do lift little to lift your spirits as the mosquitoes and flies torment you. To avoid the sweeping, uh, swelling bogs, you press on to higher ground and hope or happen upon an old road through the marshland. To the left, you make out a group of Empire Brigands, taking shelter by the side of the road. Steel of Phalax? Oh no, not those guys. You check the path to the right. You hear the distant sound of a group of raiders squabbling in the northern tongue. Ugh, god. 
fight the Empire or fight the Raiders. I'm gonna fight the Raiders. I freaking hate those guys with those shields and the little, you know, <laughs> lances that just jab at you. I hate that. So I'll go with a bit of an easier fight, but it's not gonna be that easy still. With so much life lost. There we go. That helps a little bit. Whoa. It doesn't have that many uses, but it has enough. There you go. Ah. Let me just go ahead and just jab at you a bit more. There we go. One down. And, and bonk. Ow. Well, I lost the 10 life that I had. <laughs> it's a good thing I drank that. Or I'd be dead right now. Ah, <sighs> jeez. With the raiders defeated, you notice some equipment hidden off the path in the mire. Perhaps they were guarding it. You slide down the bank to the treasure. Oh boy. Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. Thank you. Good. A win here sets <sighs> the tone for your challenge. Exquisite blade. Great. Uh, it's not much because it doesn't do much damage. It just looks nice and gets you a lot of gold. You successfully collect your prize and continue on your journey. Oh boy. Alchemy is one of the pure arts. That says little for its practitioners, however. Countless jars and obscure artifacts clutter the room. On a central or central workbench, a peculiar glass beaker simmers over a flame. Ah, I see you found my laboratory then, a voice exclaims. From behind a pile of dusty books, a robed figure emerges, clad in a pointy hat and a pair of thick spectacles. He smiles, here to create the exclusive elixir of life. Or perhaps it is gold you desire. All is possible through alchemy. Alas, I have yet to prove that such things are indeed possible, he explains. No matter. Say, would you care to assist me in my experiment? I guess. What do I gotta do? Very well. Let's begin. Take a jar and place its context and contents in the beaker. He says as he dips his quill in an inkwell and prepares to write. Remember, you must keep the elixir pure. You take a jar from the shelf and unscrew the lid. Oh, we geez. see yet another wheel. Each different, yet each bearing their own similarities. I don't know what any of this is. What the heck do I need? The jar contains a collection of red mushrooms. You place one in the beaker and it dissolves instantly. The clear liquid gains the faintest tint of red. Excellent, the alchemist says as he squalls feverishly in his ledger. Now pick another. You reach for the next jar. Mm, I guess I have to get the red beetle then. There we go. The uh, jar contains dried red beetles. You sprinkle a handful into the beaker and they dissolve instantly. The red elixir intensifies. Remarkable, the alchemist mutters as he continues to write in the ledger. This is looking promising. Now pick one more. You reach for the next jar. Oh, this is gonna get harder. Come on. Oh no, too soon. Oh no, crap. That was too soon. Ah. Gingerly, you add the yellow feathers in the flask, the mixture changes to a dull orange. An excellent balance of components, if I do say so myself, he remarks, looking at the orange mixture. Unfortunately, the emulsion is not entirely pure, and its integrity is quickly dissipating. You'd best drink it quick, he says, handing you the flask. Oh, good. That's what I was going for, was health, <laughs> but I didn't get it, though. It is no elixir of life, but it will do. The alchemist scribbles feverishly on his ledger. You thank him and continue on your journey. If I would have pressed it too soon. I could have tried to get the red feather. It was close. Push forward towards your uh, final confrontation. No thanks. Turning back. 
you must be uh, ready for whatever will come. The usurper will give us no warning. A slight rustling in the reeds is all the warning you get to your life is in grave danger. You've been ambushed. Oh, jeez. Well, it's a good thing I got more life, because I'm going to need it. Even though I don't heal anymore. Good old exquisite blade. Nice and shiny, but that doesn't really help with my predicament. Come on, Kolbjorn. You got this, man. But the only two that's left of the only two that goes on this voyage. <laughs> so it doesn't really make much sense, but it's all right. Oh jeez, ow, yep. I rolled right into it, so that didn't help at all. Crap. I was hoping to keep as much of the 40 life as I could, but I rolled straight into it. <sighs> With the thugs subdued, you search the area for supplies. Thanks. I have Shrine. Met spirits, gods, and death himself. I have I no more respect for them now than when I <laughs> believed them myths. Yeah, <laughs> he must have not liked death too much. That's <laughs> just the way he looks. Apparently, death is coming for him. Your quest brings you to a remote shrine high in the mountains. It is revered among the few local peasants for its remarkable healing properties. You kneel before the shrine and beseech the gods to take pity on you. Come on, gods. Have some pity. Ugh, not good. All threes. Great. Um... Ugh, I don't even know if that's gonna work. I'd have to get a six. Or a five. Well, I guess not, although I definitely could have used it. You find your way out of the mire and onto the road to Draper. Too many words obscure the actual truth of the matter. Sometimes simple actions tell all. Hmm. Approaching Draper's gates, you notice a woman of enormous stature dressed in a blue tunic and leather apron. Three smithing hammers hang from her waist. There's the companion. The woman rushes forward and embraces you, bearing you into her chest. The gods be praised, she cries. I thought you'd surely be dead. She releases you and looks you up and down. Look at you, she says before you get a word in. That foul beast didn't hold back now, did it? She whips around to face your companion. Coldjorn, she bellows. I thought I told you to keep her out of trouble. I warned you about Draknar. And look what's happened. You should know better than to steal from an ogre. Kolbjorn wanders past the fuming woman and down to the river to fish in peace. <laughs> wow, okay. And pause, as she pauses for breath, you seize your chance to interrupt. Who is she? I'm Adradine. Ad Ariadine, I guess. The blacksmith's daughter, she says surprised. We met at the Black Ale Pub the night before you set off to steal Odessia's charm. I almost broke your wrist arm wrestling, remember? As you pause for your breath, you see a chance to interrupt. We will ask about Odysseus' charm. She pokes at the broken ornament gingerly. Forgive me if I don't take it. The curse of the Odysseus' charm only affects the wielder. If it makes you feel any better, the ogre is probably starving from now, now too. From the looks of the silver work, this is an old relic indeed. Ask about the ogre. Draknar, she says. Or Draknar the Mighty, as he is known, has lived in these parts for an age. Many have tried to fell the beast before you two misfits, that's for sure, she explains. But few live to tell their tale. The ogre is notorious for ambushing travelers and traders alike. Not even Empire soldiers are safe in these parts. Accumulated a wealth of treasures plucked from his victims, including that cursed relic you have now. Continue on. Ariadine shakes her head. 
I hope that's how I say that. <laughs> I have no idea. One blow from Jacknar's club would crush you. You won't survive it unless you get a good set of armor on you. Increase your defense in order to survive the ogre. Oh jeez. Four out of sixty. Yeah, I'm way down. Listen, I help run a traveling forge. It's currently heading here. Come see us. We'll sort you out with some good and proper armor. Okay. The piece of Odysseus charm weighs heavily in your pack. You feel you wish to fling it into the mire, but some strange magic stays your hand. Starving and injured, you rest a while in town. Apparently that doesn't help. Oh, not again. A slight rustling in the reeds is all the warning you get for your life is in danger. You've been ambushed. Again. And I really don't like these guys. Ah, oh, crap, crap, crap. Well, let's see what we can do. Alright, Golbjorn, me and you, let's do it. Just hate these stupid shields. Oh boy. Whew. Get out of my way. I'm trying to pick on this guy right now. Good. It's one down. Alright. Yeah. Whoa. Come on. Whoa. Come on, go down. Go down. Thank you. Go up, Jordan. Get over here. Take him down. Yeah. There we go. Well, if I can get... Oh, I don't think I put a shield on, did I? I think I did. I hope so. Because I have the armor of gluttony. With the Brigands defeated, you search the area for supplies. More food. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> it doesn't really help me. Ah, a pauper plague. The town crier announces the Empire seeks mercenaries to join the battle against corruption. You seek out the watchtower where recruitment is taking place. You arrive in time to see Mer Sir Malfowl's plan to wipe out the pauper's district. The outbreak began there, and we cannot risk sparing lives. He says. Fight the corrupted or refuse. I'll fight. Ah, a blight spire, huh? I see. Well, I don't have my cardinal blade, but yeah, I'm sure we'll be okay. We got quite a bit of guys here. I definitely need to take down that spire. Alright, let's do this. Uh, that's not good. Get out of that. Uh, get out. Yep, uh, yep. Whoop. Get off me. Ow. Ah, uh, come on, get up. Take a drink. I got him. Yeah. Ugh, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This just sucks because I have no freaking health and I need it. I completely missed. I don't know where that was going. Yeah, I know, I'm backing up. Oh. Come on. Ugh. Get on this wig. I'm on it. Yeah, stupid thing. Hey, yay. Health, please. Can <laughs> someone give me some health? Ay, ay, ay. I got gold. I got more gold. Doesn't exactly help my problem. Gather yourself before you travel further. Um. 
food's not gonna do much of anything at this point. Oh, oh geez. Um, I don't see a point in that either. I was hoping food would help, but it's not going to. Cook one food restores zero life. Thanks. Helpful. Arm wrestling. Okay. Try it. Yeah, what is up with all these skulls? I'm getting a lot of those. Got it again. Uh. No, well, I got it. But now I lost Cold Jorn. That was probably the right move. Probably not. Hmm. Can you claim thief. this token? Uh, I don't know. Psh, guess not. <laughs> well, see, feeling dizzy from the lack of food, you find the road again. You weakly trudge on, knowing you must face the ogre soon. There we go. Gain the tools you need for the road ahead. I hope so. A column of smoke and the clang of metal are the first signs that you're in the right place. As you round the bend, you see the fords outside the gates of Blackwater. You spy your new acquaintance, Aerodyne, assisting a blacksmith on the bellows. Ah, there you are, Aerodyne says with a smile. She removes her gloves to wipe her brow. These are the two I was telling you about, Anders, she says to the blacksmith. I almost broke this one's wrists in an arm wrestle. So I hear you're out to fight an ogre, the blacksmith says. My specialty is improving armor and helms and the like. You can upgrade a shield, but that's it. You hand the smith your old worn shield. This thing is more pot lid than shield. It's not even worth fixing, he says with a frown. I tell you what, take this one on the house. Can I upgrade it now? Upgrade. I could certainly improve this, but it'll take several days. Oh, jeez. Um, maybe another item. I'll see if I can prove that one as well. Ah, uh, no. Crap. A slight rustling in the reeds is all the warning you get. Your life is in danger. Your artifact is empty now and will be of little use to you here. Yeah, I know. I lost all my potion. Well, this isn't good. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I'll try what I can. Yeah. It's a good thing I have cold drawing back though. Yeah. Must be another one way back there. One I didn't see. Ugh. Wrong button. Shouldn't have tried to freaking guard. Like, I tried to attack through it. That was a bad idea. Ugh. Come on, go down. Oh, apparently, Cove joins down too. Oh boy, this is gonna be a pain. I can tell this this whole quest thing here is gonna be annoying. All right, food that does not help me. Mm. The poor weather slows your day's journey. To avoid the swelling bugs, you press on to higher ground and happen upon an old road through the marshland. To the left, you see a group of cloaked thieves blocking the road. To the right, you make out a group of Empire Brigands taking shelter by the side of the road. Um... I will fight the Brigands. Um... I suppose. 
suppose. If it's their suggestion, I'll do it. If it'll help me, I have no idea, to be honest. I'm already extremely low on health. There's not much else I can do. <sighs> go down. Just go down. <laughs> go down quicker. Get out of here. I'm trying to attack this guy. Yeah. Take him down, go up Jordan. Oof, that was close. I was, I was about to get hit for a second. Yeah. Uh. Go, one left. Get him, get him. There we go. If I'll make it to 60 armor, there's no real telling. I have no idea if I'm going to make it to 60 defense. I don't have any, you know, better protection right now. With the Brigands defeated, you notice they're regarding some equipment. Oh boy, come on. Oh, well look at that. <laughs> That's nice. Alright. And the Ring of Food yet again. Fine, I'll take it, just so I can get something else. Oh, jeez. You feel cold stone against your cheek. Head pounding, you open your eye, your bleary eyes. The unmistakable scape of metal wakes you fr fully from your slumber, and you slowly take stock of your surroundings. Well, time to go back in here. This is not good. I don't have enough life for this. And it doesn't look like I'm gonna get any. Oh jeez. Um... Okay. Yep. Nope. There's like no life in this place. I can get food. Gold. It's not exactly gonna help my situation. Well, I could leave now. Which I might as well. I was hoping there'd be a, a red chest for life. I think there was last time, but not this time. That doesn't help. I guess more gold helps, I, I suppose? Uh, well, let's try a campfire again. Got anything? Ooh, what's this? Throw a bomb that causes 30 damage to slow the empire. Enemies when activated. Alright. Might as well, my other one's gone. Um. I don't really need food. Problem is, I only have three health. <laughs> so, one more attack, I'm finished. Oh no. Your day's travel is slow and long. The sun's rays now gone. A chill fills the marshlands. To avoid the sweeping bogs, you press on the higher ground. To the left, you see a group of cloaked thieves. To right again, brigands. To check the right, you hear the distant sound of a group of raiders squabbling in the northern tongue. I'm gonna go with... the raiders. And I'm gonna go back to... doesn't really matter. Go with the exquisite. Why not? Okay, here we go again. Oh boy. Alright, let's do it. Go down, go down. Oh jeez. You guys need to go down. Alright, well that's one down. Whoop. Get him, cold drone. Woof. And boom! There we go. Good job, Cold Jorn. I really have to have had more life. Three is not gonna help me. I haven't found anywhere to make any more potions or anything. Since food doesn't heal me. Treasure, yet again. Come on. Fifteen. Nice. 
What I get? Ah, Grifter's Every companion comes down to finding an edge. Optionally, nudge the result onto the next card. Oh, I wish I had that before. <laughs> it sucks. Ah, uh, well, let's go. You find your way out of the mire and onto the road to Cottonmore. Hey, Anders greets you with a smile. Ah, there you are. We were just about to leave. You must be wanting this. It's a thing you put in front of you so people don't hit you. I'm sure you can work it out. Yeah, thanks. I got it. The Smith's workmanship is exemplary. The shield feels stronger than it once was, yet it weighs remain it weight remains unchanged. Can I upgrade it again? Is that possible? Answers begins to examine third, inspecting every joint and seam. I pride myself on working my workmanship, he says, pausing. This is already at the limits. Crap. Alright. I don't have armor and I don't have a helm. I'll be here a little longer, he explains as you leave, but if you can't make it back, I'll be heading to the next town, Evergreen, next. You thank the smith for this time, and continue on your journey. Oh, jeez. Oh, yes, make a donation. Please. Um, for every gold coin card you receive. Uh, increase your mass life, so you may discard food or equipment cards to receive max life, no. Try any chance cards, no. I guess we'll do this. And I guess could've used it before. Alright. Thank you, I suppose. Oh jeez, not again. Thieves. And what? Oh, jeez. Empire Brigands. Muskets and steel. Uh, I don't feel good about any of this. So I'm going to go with the Brigands, I guess. And we'll change back to the axe. Let's do it. I guess. If I don't get gold, I don't get anything. No life, so... And I'm only at three. I really don't think I'm <laughs> gonna do so well at this. Um, throw it. Yeah. Yeah, that really slows them. They are extremely slow. Well, they were. Yeah, I would really like to get rid of these guys. Yeah, get out of there. Get out of here. Yeah. There we go. Nope. Come on, get over there. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised I'm lasting this long with only three life. This is terrible. Oh, God. Oh, what'd I get? Oh, I gotta roll first. Yeah! Twelve. Let's try this one. Twelve. I'll accept it. I don't want to let Cold Jordan go. Well, that sucks. After another day of rainfall, the marshlands swell into a swamp. Water and mud obscure the path ahead. As you press on, every direction begins to look the same. Oh, jeez. That's how I'm gonna get lost. Oh, come on. Some better. Twelve. Alright. Ah. <sighs> With some luck, you find a way to higher and drier ground. Back on the path, you continue your journey. Well, that was pointless. Um, continue on, I guess. 
I'm still not getting a helm or a chess piece, and that's not good. You find the forge at the gates of the town of Evergreen. A column of smoke bellows from the stack, and you hear the familiar clang of metal. Andra greets you as you approach. I have nothing. Still. Ah, uh, good. He came back just in the nick of time. Cloak thieves, yet again. And northerners. Alright. Well. Exquisite blade. To the northerners! Ah, oh, boy. I really hate this stupid card. <laughs> this card sucks. Well, a good old upgraded shield. Thank you. Although I've used that quite a few times. And now I get the presentation of it. When skies are darkened by your enemy's volleys, find in the shade of this personal wooden bulwark. Although I'm not too happy about fighting northerners. I'm definitely gonna have to dodge all of that. Well, get out of here. And funk. Whew. Come on. That's the only problem I'm gonna have. Get out of here. Stop trying to hit me. Oh, there's one more. Apparently. Oops. Oh boy, dodge it! And... bonk. Whoop. Come on, get them down! Get them down! Sweet. Get him! Yeah! Get off of me! Oh, darn! Give me some help, man! Nope. Eh, I don't think so. I'm not gonna go down that easy. There we go. Every fight is a fight for my freaking life with only three health remaining. And I cannot seem to get any more. Ugh. Eh, try to get more treasure. Yet again. Ugh. There we go. That'll work. What'd I get? There we go. Power against single target, deals them to empire and ranged enemies. Good, good, good. That'll work. Cool. New sword. I guess. Uh, no. Oh, thank you. Oh boy, finally some more health. Crap. This is gonna suck. High roll, come on. High roll. Ugh. Ugh. Come on. And I lost called Jorn. As you scramble up the path, a booming voice echoes, but over the marshland. Over the marshlands, it is Draknor. Hi to thy burrow, little mouse. I can smell thy blood. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. What is up with these rolls now? Thank you. With luck on your side, you lose Draknar and the Morris and double back to the trail. You continue towards Brayden without delay. Oh, boy. Your supplies are running low. Make I your know. choices carefully. Man of the world! <laughs> Well, I don't really need him, but thanks. Your hunger pains have long since subsided, replaced with a heavy numbness. You know you must face the ogre very soon. Jeez. When even the fires of creation are know. destroyed, what new wonders can enter the world? You spy a column of smoke in the distance. Wreckage strewn across the road alerts you to the fate of the traveling forge. 
You rush to the forge and find Ander sitting on a wooden stool amidst the debris. Startled, but otherwise okay. Eh, ah, he says, looking up. I was hoping you'd find me here. The ogre Dragnar ambushed the forge while I was traveling to Brayden. I'm fine, he continues, tearing up a little, tearing up a little, and the forge can be rebuilt. It's Ari that I'm worried about. She stormed off in a rage. Her heart is in the right place, but I fear she is no match for Drachnar by herself. Without a working forge, I can do little more to help you in your quest for the Ad uh, Adesia's charm, the smith continues. Please help Ari before she does anything foolish. With no other option, you set towards the ogre's lair and search for er uh, Arya. Uh, I need some more food first. Trade. What's equipment we got? Skeletons reanimate. They drain life from. What? No, no, no. One failure card glows red during the shuffle. Oh, well, that's cool. Gives me one hell. Nothing like carrying an aura of purity unearned to give the game away. Um, we will get rid of the exquisite. I will buy some more healing spirits. Oh no, I can't. <laughs> I was trying to buy more. That's selling. Wrong thing. But I will buy some more food. Okay, I'm done. Alright. By the side of the waterfall, you meet a young woman with striking gray hair. She is holding a baby. Greetings, traveler. Treat these waters with caution. They are not to be meddled with. If you're parched, you're welcome to stop by my cottage. I have a pie cooling on the window sill, too. Behind her, a little wooden sign says, Waterfall of Youth. Very dangerous. Stay clear. I am Vjorn. The woman says as she leads you to her cottage. As she promised, a hearty beef pie awaits you. You enjoy it with a side of mashed potatoes. Sounds pretty good, actually. <laughs> Thanks for the food. With the meal finished, Vaughn asks you to help her while she puts the baby to sleep. The rare sunsheen flower grows nearby and she'd like you to gather a bloom. It feels impolite to refuse. The sun sheen sprouts from the rocks behind the waterfall. If you are very careful, you could climb out to receive one without falling into the water. Try. Remembering the warning, you inch your way along the rock wall, gingerly moving from stone to stone. Oh crap. Woo. The pendulum swings like Got a it. scythe, bearing hope or failure. You manage to grab a ledge and regain your balance. From here, you reach the sun sheen, bag it, and make your way back to the shore. Vaughn is delighted to see the sun sheen. Most travelers just eat and leave. And thanks, she gives you a gift. This will protect you in your travels. What'd you give me? No. I don't want to get rid of that. What is this? Oh, it's a bomb. Um, no, it's just corrupted. Uh, no thanks, but thank you anyways. Well done. That's if I can complete that to get that. I don't know. Ah, Band of Thieves. Good. Well, at least it'll mark one failure. That's one out. I'll take this one. Success! Some of the guild members are sympathetic towards your cause and offer support in the future. Um, I'll take the good, because that will increase my life, if I get that. The rest of the guild members show little interest in involved with your misadventures. Okay, well that's good. Who are you? Oh. That you flee so eagerly to the source of your own destruction? Not staggering yet. Staggering across fields of bones in order to seek revenge? Ugh. Come on. Um. Should I try this? Oh, crap. Ah, thank you. <laughs> that was close. Um, what's this one? Oh. Um, do I have one? Give him one blessing? What do I have? Oh. Well, I'm probably not going to get any more gold, so... No. 
Thanks. All right, let's do it. He is one of the last of his kind. He has waited decades now, defending his land, building his reputation, hoping to see another of his kind. His hmm. story ends here, and his people soon after. That's hard to hear. Mist pools in the foothills as you approach the ogre's lair. Bones of fallen champions litter the way, picked clean by the vultures. Their weapons lay here and there, rusted by the damp and twisted by the weather. Alright, that's all I'm gonna get for defense, sadly. You catch up to Aria as she charges through the hillside. In her hand, she carries a massive mace, its face fashioned from the traveling forge's anvil. Let us see how he likes when my forge fights back. We are close, Kolbjorn whispers, drawing his blades and scanning the rocky outcrop ahead. Keep your wits about you. If you have to make preparations, this, would, this could be our last chance. There is no time for caution, Ardria says, pushing past. Let me be at my bed. Let me, let me at that beast. No one destroys my father's forge and continues to draw breath. She stops and lets out a roar. Where are you, monster? Right there, apparently. The silhouette of the ogre looms out of the mist. He raises his club above his head and leaps down from his perch, smashing the ground in front of you. The poor fools come happy to their death, he grins, displaying a mouth of yellow jagged teeth. Crunch, crunch, the little wagon went. Dust your bones sing as beautifully. Aria bellows in defiance and charges her foe. Dragnar swings his club wildly, catching Corbjorn and sending them flying. Then the ogre swings at you. While surprisingly uh, dexterity, uh, Ardria leaps to your aid, taking the blow in your stead. Battered, she crumples to the ground at your feet. There was no way you'd be able to take the blow of that magnitude with that armor, she, she huffs, blood bubbling from her mouth. But I'm afraid I won't be of much help now. Dragnar roars and charges into battle. Well, that sucks, because Cold Germ's out too anyways, so <laughs> now it's just me. Oh, I don't feel this being any good. Oh boy. Well, we'll see if we can defeat him. It's just me and him. Let's do it. Nice red beard. Even amongst ogres, Dragnar is feared. Once he was a leader among their kind, but those days are long gone. The ogre's thick hide reduces damage by four, making low damage weapons less effective. Beware, club deals devastating damage. Evade or perish. Oh boy. Well. Whoa. Oh jeez. Ow. Come on, beat him up. Well, that didn't last as long as I thought it would at all. <sighs> Great. Now death comes to you. This story ends here. Yeah. Think. Well. Do not continue to fail me. I have need of your greatest efforts. I kind of figured that that wouldn't work. I didn't, wasn't really prepared for the whole needing a lot of defense, so I didn't get a lot of defense cards. So, let me see if I can rearrange this. I don't need a lot of this. I'll see if I can just beef up my armor, because yeah, I didn't, apparently didn't get the Aegis either. Ooh, let me take the Bastion. That'll help a lot. Um, what do I got besides Armor of Gluttony? Mercenary robe. Yeah. So, I will see you guys when we get back to the end of that whole thing again. Because <laughs> it's going to be a while from here on. Now that I have to do pretty much the whole thing over again. So, I will see you there. Alright, well, we are back. It took a while to get here, but we actually have 65 defense this time. So, we can definitely survive the blow. And Arya should be able to help us. Hopefully that'll help me win. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, still didn't get much life though, of course. So probably about two hits would kill me. But we'll see what we can do. So. Catch up with Arya. And we're close. No time. 
Here we are. The silhouette of the ogre looms out of the mist. He ha raises his club above his head and leaps down from his perch, smashing the ground in front of you. The poor fool comb happy to their death, he grins, displaying a mouth of yellow jagged teeth. Crunch, crunch, the little wagons went. Does your bones sing as beautifully? Aria bellows in defiance and charges her foe. Dragnar swings his club wildly, catching Kolbjorn and sending them flying. Then the ogre swings at you. The mighty club glances off your armor. Your armor is thick and strong, Ardria laughs. Anders has done well. Dragnar roars and charges into battle. And Arya is here with me, so hopefully we can take him down together. 60 defense hopefully should be enough. I would hope. I don't know, we'll see. At least we have a friend now. Alright, let's do this. Oof. No thanks. Yeah. Ow. Well, they only hurt me for seven, which isn't that bad. What do you do, though? Oof. Beat him down, Arya! Ah. Ah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Doing it again? That was a mistake. Go down. Yep. Yeah! There we go. Woo! That helped a lot better. Man. Ah, oh boy. With the ogre defeated, you and Arya rush to Kolbjorn's side and help them to their feet. Then you see it, shining under a pile of bloodied rags and small bones. The other half. The two halves of Odessia's charm slide together, and with the rush of a leaf, you feel the curse lift. Sweet. Food Every bounty. understands how best to cleave flesh from bone. Hmm. Create an aura that lasts 60 seconds. While active, gain plus one food for every enemy defeated. Excludes undead. Cool. That actually sounds pretty cool, actually. Uh, but you have to make sure everybody gets close to death, because it said while defeated, so, yeah. You live, and you lose. You never know. Might happen. Might be bad. Might be bad. Hmm. With a shout of joy, Ariana lifts her hammer to the sky. Wow, now that was exhilarating. We brought down Draknar the Mighty. We're bloody heroes. Ariana runs a hand over her hammer. She seems reluctant to let this moment go. Say... You don't need some extra muscle in your troop, do you? Cool. There we are. And so you gather more tools, <sighs> and with each step, more power. I hated both of those. I don't know what Toshers are, but I hated the other two. Battered Helm. Okay. Decius Charm. Sisters of Vengeance. Cool. With a shield and a jousting armor. All right, and the blacksmith, sweet, and I got the gold, Lady of the Lake, that looks pretty cool, uh, and I got this too, it was from the waterfall as well, why did I get another old maiden card, was that who that was, huh, because, yeah, I finished the waterfall one the second time. But, man, that was a pain. There's a lot more to go. But we're getting close. Man. I just wasn't expecting to have to have 60 armor, so I didn't have much prepared. But I went back and... Since I had to do it again, I changed my equipment out to get more armor, and I started with a piece of chest, so that helped out. But, ay ay ay. Sometimes you just have to die and go back and try it again. Sometimes you just know what's gonna happen, so you bring armor anyways, which would probably be a good point. But, that was a pain. But we did it, so thank you for joining me for this adventure. See you guys for the next adventure. Bye.